Hello there. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> Good to meet you. Great to see Welcome you. Welcome to the yeah, yeah, house. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. <laughs> One of the reasons that the U.S.-India relationship has blossomed over the last few years is because we strongly support India's rise as a leading power, as a leading power in the world. And uh, they have a critical role to play in the Asia-Pacific and beyond. And so that's why we've been so uh, strong about their uh, having a role in international institutions like the U.N. Security Council, the G20, the export control regimes and others, having a very capable military, having a strong and prosperous economy. On the defense relationship, boy, we have we have You've moved. We have taken off. Yes. We have exceeded, I think, everyone's expectations. We are northward of 15 billion in defense sales, but more importantly, we're at, we're talking about building and developing things together. And not necessarily small things. We're talking about building a front frontline fighter here in India. We're talking about working on aircraft carriers here in India. I think about the largest congressional block in our Congress right now is the U.S.-India caucus in the House of Representatives, 300 plus members. I always joke that I don't know of any other issue that would bring 300 plus members of the, <laughs> of the Congress together. The thing about uh, H-1Bs is that India gets 70, nearly 70 percent of all yes. H-1Bs issued, gets the lion's share of all work-related visas. We issued over a million visas last year uh, just across the mission in India, which was the highest in our history. It brings together the economic and trade and commercial aspects of our government with our foreign policy and strategic components to have a comprehensive dialogue with our Indian counterparts. We do this uh, with one other country, with China. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, at, at one point in the dialogue last year, Secretary Kerry turned to me and he said, you know, I think we now do more with India on a government-to-government -government basis than with any other country. One, we were pleased that that got established. And secondly, I think maybe people don't know that in the final stages of the Paris Climate Agreement, that secure line was used and used to really hammer out uh, some differences between our two sides that ultimately led to the final. At the, final at the top level? Between the, the president and the prime minister? At the top level. Yeah.